welcome to the electrical machine fi basic fundamental problems on motors and generators we are going to solve few problems on motors and generators and that will be very fundamental so related to first year btec program the first problem is if we have a six pole lap wound armature the total number of conductors is 840 and the flux per pole is 0.018 weber calculate the EMF generated when the machine is running at a speed of 600 RPM. So the information that is given to us is the total number of poles is 6. The flux produced in the machine is 0.018. The speed at which the armature is rotating is 600 RPM and the total number of conductors are 840. It is also given that the armature windings are lap wound connected. We know that in lap wound, the number of parallel paths is equal to the number of poles present in the machine, which is equal to six. So for lap wound machine, the number of parallel path is equal to six. Now the EMF equation of the machine is given by phi Z NP by 60 A, where all the datas are given to us once we substitute this data in the generated EMF equation, we will be getting the voltage that is generated in the armature of the DC machine is 151.2 volt. Next problem, problem number two. If a six pole, year one mistake may be there, uh, it is a six pole wave connected armature has a 300 conductors and runs at 1000 RPM. The EMF generated on the open circuit is 400 volt find the useful flux per pole. So we will not take uh, the number of poles is six. This is a misprint here. So the number of poles is six and the number of parallel path here will be two because the winding is wave wound. The number of conductors present in the armature is 300 and the speed at which the armature is rotating is 1000 RPM. So from the given data, we are also given that 400 volt is the EMF generated. So EMF generated equation is phi Z NP by 60A where the EMF generated is 400 volt but the flux is not given which we need to calculate. So we can obtain the value of the flux phi from the EMF equation of the machine. We have to put the relevant values that are given in the problem we will get the EMF generated is 0.0267 wave y. Next problem. Now here the machine is lap wound and it is a DC sunt generator. We know that sunt generator is the one where the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature. It has 80 slots with 10 conductor per slot. It is generating a no load EMF of 400 volt running at 1000 RPM. What speed? should it be rotated to generate a voltage of 220 volt on open circuit condition. So the total number of slots in the armature is 80 and the conductor per slot is 10. The EMF generated 400 volt is at no load condition and the speed is 1000 RPM. So the first part of the problem we can solve it where the total number of conductors first we have to obtain so 80 slots are there and 10 conductors are there per slot. So total number of conductor is 800. We know the generated EMF equation and here the machine is basically lap wound. So the number of parallel path is equal to P. So we can compute the flux because the EMF generated is already given to us is 400 volt. So the flux is coming to be 0.03 by by. The next part of the question where the generated EMF is said to be 220 volt and the flux of the machine remains the same which we have computed from the first part. If we put it in the value of the generated EMF equation, the unknown that we need to determine is what is the speed at which the machine is running. On solving, we will get the speed to be 550 RPM. Next problem, a four pole DC sun generator with lap connected armature supplies a load of 100 ampere. So this is at the output terminal, we are getting 100 ampere at 200 volt. The armature resistance is given to us is 0.1 ohms. 
and the sun field resistance is 80 ohm. You have to determine the total armature current, the current per armature path, the EMF generated. Assuming that there is a voltage brush drop of 2 volt at the two brushes of the armature. So first we will note down what are the given data to us. Number of poles is given, the voltage is given, the resistance of the field, resistance of the armature and the load current is given to us. Note here the 200 volt whatever is given this is the terminal voltage and not the generated voltage because the generated voltage will be at the armature. So you will be having the generated voltage at the armature of the machine and at the load terminal you will be having the terminal voltage. So the information of the terminal voltage is given 200 volt at 100 ampere. So 100 ampere being the load current. Now here since the machine is basically DC sunt machine which is a generator we will be having the field winding which is connected in parallel to the armature so this is what we have the armature as a generator and two brushes are there and we will be having the load which is connected at the terminal so this is our load now these field winding will have a resistance so whatever the terminal voltage we are getting at the load the same voltage will be there across the field because they are in parallel we can compute from the ohms law the field current is basically the total voltage at the load divided by the resistance of the field which comes to be 2.5 amps now in case of a generator if we see the armature current which is generating at the generator armature will be distributed in the field side and the load sides so here we will be having the field current and here we will be having the load current so we can apply the kcl equation at this particular node so armature current will be load current plus field current which comes to be 102.5 gaps now we have to determine the current per armature path since the machine is lap wound, so the number of parallel path is equal to number of poles which is equal to 4 and the armature current we have computed as 102.5. So the current per armature path is nothing but the armature current divided by the number of parallel path which is equal to 25.625 amps. And then we can use the KVL equation to find the generated EMF. So the generated EMF EG is equal to the load of voltage V plus the drop in the armature so armature resistance drop plus the total voltage in the brush drop so that comes to be 212.25 so this is the EMF generated inside the machine next problem the fifth problem where we have the armature of a four pole lap wound sunt generator so again the field winding will be in parallel to the armature has 120 slots with four conductor per slot the flux per pole is given to be 0.05 Weber. Armature resistance and sun field resistances are given. We have to determine the speed at which the machine is running when supplying 450 ampere. So this is what the load current is at a terminal voltage of 250 volt. So this is the load voltage. So all the data whatever is given to us we will note down first. We have been given the terminal voltage, load current, resistance of the field resistance of the armature the total number of poles and the flux per pole now here uh, we know from the previous problem also the field current will be equal to v by rf because it is a sunt wound machine and it is 5 amps so the armature current is equal to load current plus field current in accordance with the kcl that is equal to 455 amps and in accordance with the kvl equation eg is equal to v plus iara here in the problem the brush drop is not given so we can neglect the brush drop and hence we can compute the generated EMF to be 272.75 volt. Other information given are the number of slots in the armature which is 120 the conductor per slot is 4. So the total number of armature conductor will be 120 into 4 which is 480 and it is a lap wound machine so the number of parallel path is equal to number of poles which is equal to 4 and hence the generated EMF equation uh, we can use it where the generated EMF we have seen 272.75 and here the unknown which is to be computed is the speed where all the data are given 
so the speed comes to be 682.682 rpm next problem here we have 230 volt dc sunk machine the resistance of the armature is 0 0.5 ohms and the field resistance is 115 ohms if the machine is connected to a 230 volt supply mains now here uh, since it is connected to supply mains it is means electrical energy it is taking as the input hence it is a motor so find the ratio of speed as generator to the speed as a motor so we have to compute when the machine is running as a generator and when the machine is running as a motor we know that uh, dc machine is a versatile machine it can function both as a generator as well as motor so what would be the ratio of the speed when the machine is functioning as a generator and the machine is functioning as a motor the line current in each being the 40 amps so the given data that we have is basically the terminal voltage the load current the resistance of the armature and the resistance of the field now first we will take the generator operation in the generator operation the output will be uh, the electrical energy where the load current will be 40 amps and here we have the sun connected machine so the field current we can get which is vyrf which is equal to 2 amps armature current is equal to load current plus field current in accordance with kirchhoff's current law and the eg equal to v plus ira in accordance with kvr here also the brush drop is not given so we can neglect that so the generated emf comes to be 251 volt now if the machine is running as a motor then the direction at which the energy flows changes means the electrical energy will be converted to mechanical energy so the load will be from the source side so 40 ampere will be the source uh, uh, which will be uh, driving the motor so the field current now it is 2 amps and the armature current now has become il minus if because the current will be taken which is equal to il and this current will be distributed in the armature current and one of the current will go in the field if so we can compute the armature current as the load current minus the field current which is equal to 38 amps also the back emf uh, is equal to v minus ira so this is with respect to the kvl equation in the motor which comes to be 211 because here we have the terminal voltage v which is supplying and then here we are having the back emf eb and the drop that is there is equal to ira so ev equal to v minus ira is the motor emf which is the back emf 211 volt now since the emf equation is directly proportional to the speed we can see so it means that we can divide the back emf by the generated emf or rather the motor operation by generator operation we will be getting n2 by n1 as the speed now we can put it and hence the ratio of the speed for the two different operation as a generator and as a motor we can get it so we can get n2 by n1 is equal to 1.1896 on the numerator side n2 indicates the motor speed n1 indicates the generator speed so it means the motor uh, will be running 1.18 times high than the generator speed next problem uh, here we have a compound generator now compound generator may be short sunt or long sunt we have seen in the theory so here we have a short sunt compound generator which is supplying 200 amps at 100 volt and the different resistance of the armature the series field and the sunt field are given so we have to compute the emf generated it should be noted that in the short sunt machine if we see then the field winding of the resistance of the series field winding will be outside and then we will be having the generator and parallel to the generator we will be having the resistance of the sun free winding and here we will be having the load terminal so this is the circuit diagram for the short sun machine so we will use this circuit diagram to apply the kcl and the kvm to determine the emf generator so the given data are basically the voltage the resistance of the field the load current resistance of the armature and the resistance of the series field winding 
So the voltage drop in the series field winding, if you want to compute, that will be equal to IL into resistance of the series field winding because the all the current will be flowing here. That is the load current. So uh, this is your series field winding and here we will be having the generator terminal. So this is our RSH. So the series field winding is carrying the entire load current. Hence it is equal to 6 volt. Now the field current is equal to the total voltage which is V plus ILRS divided by the resistance of the field which comes to be 1.77 amps. And the armature current is equal to load current plus the field current. So whatever the current is generated from the armature, certain current is going in the field and the remaining current is going in the load. So armature current is equal to load current plus field current. And the KVR equation we can apply to get EG equal to V plus INRS plus IERA. Though that comes to be 114.07 substituting all the known data. Next problem we have on DC sunt motor. Here it is 120 volt uh, which is drawing a current of 200 amps. The armature resistance and the sun field resistances are given compute the back EMF. So back EMF and generated EMF equation remains the same and the lamp mount armature has 90 slots with 4 conductor per slot. At what speed will the motor run when the flux per hour is 0.04 waiver? So first we will note down what are the given data of the machine we have that is the terminal voltage, the resistance of the armature, the load current, the flux and the resistance of the field. So the first part of the machine, uh, which is the sunt motor concept, we have the field current is equal to V by RF, which comes to be 4 amps. Next, the armature current, which is equal to IL minus IF, it is a motor operation. So it is 196 amps. And from the KVL, the back EMF equal to V minus IERA for a motor, which is equal to 116.08. In the next part of the question where uh, the lap one machine is given so number of parallel path is equal to number of poles the total number of slot is 90 hence the total number of conductors we will get 19 to 4 which is 360 and we can use the back emf equation and here the unknown quantity is only the speed which we need to determine other quantities are already given because eb we have already computed so the speed comes to be 484 rpm so we have discussed few problems on DC machines fundamentals depending upon the type of the machine we can compute the, all the unknowns uh, and we have to observe the energy flow whether it is a generator or whether it is a motor and again if it is a generator and a motor how the uh, energy is distributed depending upon whether it is a sand series or compound machine. So I suggest to look into the lecture uh, part before solving this tutorial problems. So lecture is already uploaded. You can see the lecture part first and then you can solve these tutorial problems that will be easy for you. Thank you for my. See you in the next lecture.